Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul in Northern California. Uh, it's a little before 4 a.m., 825. I was awoken at 316 a.m. I saw like a flashing light against my wall. was instantly wide awake. Uh, let Misty, my... Uh, watchdog out back began uh, I got up wide awake and alert 3.16 a.m. and began to walk around the house ultimately came into my office and as soon as I sat down the Lord said as in the days of Noah Matthew 24 37 through 39 There were eight people on this ark representing a new beginning because on, you know, seven, completion, perfection, eight, new beginning. They didn't know the flood came. This flood wiped out the entire world except those that were on the ark. And so shall it be when the Son of Man This is what I heard. 3.16 a.m. is a 7.7. 7. I mean, it's a 3.7. I'm sorry. I got this number from somewhere else. We're praying at 10 a.m. today. I'm just going to continue to remind people of that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. East Coast would be one. Uh, we're all praying at the same time. In unity, one accord, based off the time of 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Wherever you are, apply it to 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Pray for one hour. The Lord spoke to me about this. The world will know that I am God at 3.16 in the morning. It's amazing. And I did a Bible Gateway search on that. And there's eight. At number eight again of New Beginnings references. I'm going to show them in the feed here. I'm going to put a link to everything the Lord showed me. I'm going to share it with you. Continue to share it with you. Until I'm standing at the feet of Jesus. And we'll scroll. Again, I'll put a link. And... and what cautioned me about this is, isn't this that famous thing that Obama had read? Anybody seen that video? I'm 100% sure it is. I'm asking a rhetorical question. Uh, I'm tired, but I'm awake. I'm tired, but I'm awake. I'm tired, but I'm awake. There's a difference. So there's the eight scriptures. The next thing the Lord showed me was, <laughs> do you understand? Watchmen on the wall and God's messengers, the knowledge they have only comes to ask because the knowledge came from God and whatever's gonna happen, and I'm not even gonna say a win, is the world is gonna know that he is God. So how big would that event have to be for the world who's walking around blindly rejecting him to know he is God? What could trigger that? So I did the search for planned drills. These were the keywords. Planned emergency drills on August 25th, 14. The first one that came up is uh, this is a school they're going to do uh, fire drills, lockdown drills, and shelter-in-place drills. Now, this is Denver, Colorado, putting a link to all this. Now, again, this starts from today. On, uh, on the very first day of school until the 28th. Three days. 
three days. South Lake Tahoe. Major, major drill of mass casualties an hour and a half northeast of me. It's called South Lake Tahoe if you want to Google that. Here's some pictures. They built a scene out of Legos. To me this is just silly. But look at the colors on the planes in the background. Green. Green building. Here's the things uh, they're going to be doing with the triage. It says Ferno disaster triage tag. Here's another picture using Legos helicopters. And then that one. I'm going to put a link to this. It's at 10 a.m. as I sit here and pray today for an hour. Thank you, Jesus, for Brother Gary to be obedient to call this prayer. I'll put a link. I'm concerned. Look at this right here. The last time a large scale emergency center was activated in the community was during 2006's Angora fire. And I'm just going to briefly say this because the Lord is speaking to our hearts right now with love. When I was driving back, when, when I was beginning to receive these intense visions of things to come, I made a video about fires and floods occurring at the same time because I saw it in a vision. Then there was an earthquake and the power went out. That's all come to pass here. Not just in California, fires and floods at the same time with an earthquake and power loss, but nationwide and worldwide fires and floods. And the only reason I can say that is because it's knowledge from God. Here's more Tel Aviv, Israel. I'm just going to go through these, through these real quickly. I'm simply asking for one thing. You to tell others that we are in a time of... I don't know what to say. You pray on what to tell people. I saw a video the other day where people said we can't warn any people anymore and uh, no one can be saved. And to that I say that's utter nonsense and the devil would love you to believe that. Be careful on who you listen to. I'm going to put this in here. There's New Orleans, McLean, Germany, Washington, D.C., August, Georgia. It's, I didn't go any further than that because it's going into a, a September 11th. I also made a video called Obama's 9-11. I'll put a link to that. Checked the fireballs. Eight reports. For California. And when you come down, that's the latest. And when you come down here, the confirmation was Noah reported one today. From Loyal. Wisconsin. Continuing. I made a video I, just two or three days ago that the, the, the dream I had of 3-7 being a warning sign of impending war and ISIS and this and that was not a coincidence. Just go back a couple videos. 3-7 dream is not a coincidence highway 37 was shut down by the 6.0 or 6.2 I believe it was higher I've seen the damage uh, highway 37 was shut down I don't know if you know this or not it's an hour uh, west of me the damage was major but oh I didn't mean to do that highway 37 I wasn't on YouTube yesterday. It was my 19 year anniversary to my wonderful and beautiful wife, Gail. 
I'm gonna do some images is what I wanna do. Of all highway 37. I followed it. But um many of my friends felt it. I'm not sure why these images aren't loading. It says Christian. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that, and I'm gonna keep pressing on. Here's another drill. They, well, Napa showed a uh, declared a state of emergency. Did you know that? There's the seismograph of what occurred. Let's go back to this. Looks like my computer locked up. This happens quite a lot lately. One more thing when I was walking around, concerned. Let's see how it says Chrome not responding. I have serious concern. Serious concern. For, uh, I'm going to say this for like the seventh time. Disruption in communications. And transportation. That's the seventh time I've said this this year. Disruptions in communications and transportations. Why would the Lord wake me up at 316 to tell you to go out and pray? Some people say, oh, you're doing it by the work of Beelzebub. Would Beelzebub wake up a man of God and tell him to come on here and warn you to be prepared for anything and to pray and show you these worldwide drills? There it is. Look. You need to be in prayer. I'm not going to mess around with this too much because uh, it's lagging. And I'm sitting right next to the ladder, uh, my router, and all the buttons are linking. I'm just going to say thank you for your fellowship. Thank you for your prayers. All is well here. They change at any minute. Wherever we may be, wherever you may be. Because of this. That's why I woke up today and that's why I hit record. Where's your mind and heart at right now? Be focused on. Shalom.